um, FCDs, Friends for Conservation and Development um, presentation. And with us, we have Mr. Derek Chan, who is the uh, park manager for the Chikibol Park. All right, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Derek Chan, and I'm the manager of the Chikibol National Park. And I will stick to five minutes uh, because we are running out of time. Um, <clears throat> So my presentation, once again, uh, is on a human conflict, you know, in the Chickabool forest. And, um, you know, everyone knows Friends for Conservation and Development. We manage the Chickabool National Park, and we work at large in the area of the Chickabool forest, which includes, um, you know, the Chickabool National Park. We have a co-management with the government, uh, but we also have a memorandum of understanding to be able to patrol and, and, and see, oversee what is happening at the Forest Reserve and also patrol within the Caracol area. Um, uh, that's uh, our uh, FCD mission there, FCD Pioneers Adaptive Management of the Chickabool Forest to improve the ecological and cultural integrity of the Western Chickabool Maya Mountains. So we, uh, as I said, we are a nonprofit organization, right? That's our office. We are in San Jose Socots. Next. And you can find us uh, on our uh, website uh, or our Facebook page. So the Chiki Bull has a lot to offer, right? A lot of caves, a lot of um, wildlife, rivers, uh, natural arch. So there's just a lot of things to see. I think we have almost every ecosystem except, you know, the mangrove or, or the reef and so on, right? Next. Wildlife, we are teeming with wildlife. So scarlet macaws, nowhere else, you know, macaws are nesting. Probably they might be nesting in the coxcomb or in the bleeding area. But the Chikibul is the main place where the macaws uh, nest. We have large numbers of um, of jaguars and five our five cats. So just a lot of wildlife. Let's go to the next one. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can read this here. So. It is over uh, uh, 423,000 acres. So this is like three times the size of Barbados. And um, it includes uh, Caracol and the Chiquibul um, Forest Reserve, right? And one of the things that the Chiquibul protects most important is water, right? So you say there it is 40% of the Belize population receives water from the Chiquibul Forest. Um, <clears throat> But we have one of the main problems is encroachment, right? We have a big human conflict in the Chiki Bull. All right, so here this is a this is the natural arch, and I said uh, we have um, a lot of water. So this is just one of the rivers, the Chiki Bull River here um, that goes into the Chiki Bull Cave system. The next, um, one of the um, wildlife that is mostly uh, targeted in the Chiki Bull is the Macau, of course, because they nest there. So we do have a lot of problems. Uh, and again, it is from Guatemalans. And I know Arcas is here, but it's true. It, it is Guatemalans. We have uh, documented them well. But we are working in collaboration with CONAP and with other agencies to arrest this. And we are educating them. We are not just going to grab and take, you know, we are educating people. I think um, Association Balam is working to, 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 towards, you know, livelihoods and so on with the communities nearby. Let's go. So the job of the rangers in a Chikibul is to patrol, right? They patrol to different areas of the forest to find where these illegal activities are, are happening. We have a research program. We have a karst program. And we also uh, do, uh, we also have rangers in the Vaca Forest Reserve, which is a nearby protected area of the, of the park, right? We share all of our information to the Belize Defense Force, to the police, to the forest department, to the agencies that need this information. And we also work with, with partners. Uh, so everyone here probably is our partner, right? The next. Okay, so this is just a picture of the rangers here on, on preparing for a training. And on that side there with one of our partners, the government agency, the forest department, we do receive training from them. And we report everything to them of what we accomplish, do and in, in the park. So the conflict here, um, 
here, um, gentlemen from Arkansas, you see this would be the cheeky bull here. It looks dark because it's green. And on the other side, you know, um, uh, the forest has been depleted largely by agriculture. Next. And you can see um, the little dots on the other side there. Um, those are communities. Those are the ones causing the, the conflicts in the forest. So mostly cattle, uh, shakeros, poachers, hunters, um, loggers, uh, even non-timber forest products like copal are being harvested. So this is a sample of, um, of agriculture uh, in the park. So you can see the approxi approximately the border and on this side here, the park. And uh, there is cattle, there is horses, there is animals being brought in and interacting with the, with the wildlife. Also the same thing that happens uh, with the Maya forest. Next. Uh, this is a sample of illegal logging. This, this picture was actually just taken like two days ago. And illegal gold panning is another problem that we have in the Chiki Bowl. Uh, of course, uh, they're very opportunistic uh, people who come to do the, the panning, but they hunt and they also, if they see wildlife that they can catch, they will take them. Uh, we have arrested people that are taking birds, um, even baby deers and, and that sort of. So um, one of the biggest problems, like I said, is the scarlet macaw. And we have been tracking them. We know their names, we know from which village. So we have all the information and we've been working across with the Guatemalan agencies to find more about these people and you know, try to educate them. And of course, you still have to use the law. When we arrest them, they have to go to court to justice and then to jail if that's the case. There is another one um, here in this picture, you can actually see the baby maca being taken here. Right. So we have the pictures we we arrested that guy there in particularly he went to jail for seven macas they were taking seven macas on that on that um situation there thanks um again we have uh, found a different um equipment that they use and you know we set a camera and they sit down right there by the camera uh you know they, they were just taking a photo shoot there yeah um next and of course, weapons, you can see different kinds of weapons. And here, these two poachers, once again, you can see they have uh, two macaws here, right? Um, I think we have raised close to 10 macaws that have been confiscated from poachers and then released, we do a soft release. This is the biggest problem that we have with the human conflict in, in the Chiki Bowl. Uh, the, there is always, th this is every day, every day, 24 hours a day, there is problems in the Chiki Bowl. We work with partners like the police department, so we beg you your support um, because whenever we bring uh, someone, we would bring them to the police station and sometimes the police would, wouldn't know where that is or why do we bring this person. Uh, these people need to come to justice because uh, there is a big problem. If we do not, uh, continue this program with with um the the anti poaching then you know we will eventually just lose all our macaws uh, that is my presentation go to our facebook go to our website learn about ftd thank you